Come on. I don't know if it's going to reach that high. Wow, look at that. We, we grounded him. Oh, that is so good. Oh, oh, yikes. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy Dmac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here with Primal Fear, having so much fun doing flips! Man, oh man! Guys, how you doing today? Hope you're doing well, me personally. I'm doing pretty amazing. That's right, because last episode, we did so very much. We got ourselves a second tear bird to be a breeding partner. Yes, demonic. We got our very first celestial RG and the brand new spirit giant bee. It is so incredibly cool. And yes, we got to finish leveling it up. We didn't even get it to max last time, and it was whooping all sorts of butt. So let's head on out. And I think quite possibly uh, this guy could be our new taming mount. In some ways, it's a little possibly easier to see or deal with than the uh, griffin. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe we should try it out. There's loads of new cool things also on the server today. So I think we're going to head on out and see what we can find. Let's go ahead and do a big old boom. Come on, buddy. Boom! Oh, how much I love this bee. It is so cool. I don't know why more mods don't have them. They're just such neat little creatures. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to continue to level up. I'll show you any cool battles that we have. And I got loads of kibble on me in case we run across something cool to tame today. So, uh, yes, wish me luck. And guys, please remember, if you're enjoying the series, to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet seriously what are you waiting for it is the perfect time to subscribe yeah little b wreck all the face dude look at that oh how could so much power come from such a little package I may never know, but man, is it epic. Anyway, wish me luck, guys, and I'll see you back in a few. All right, we are coming along pretty nicely. Send that out, bro. Bam! I swear, it never gets old. It is just so much fun. Um, anywho, um, I'm coming up on what might possibly be our first tame of the day. There is another shiny that is right up here and something that we can use as a breeding partner. Let's see if we can pick it out somewhere along these hills. Um, Let's see. We're looking for a flyer. Yeah, and it's also the companion of what... Oh, I think that's it. Of what we tamed yesterday. It's either this one. Nope, that's a fabled. So that's got, yup, look at that. It is the male version of what we got yesterday. Of course, it's a different type of shiny, but this would be the perfect breeding partner. Oh man, you know how much I've been wanting this. Let's see if we can get them. Holy crap, are you kidding me? Mana Garmer, get the crap out of here. Let's take care of this Mana Garmer. I have a feeling it's gonna try and mess with our tame. I hate mana garbage sometimes. They are so squiggly. Come here, dude. All right, finally. Oh, all right. Anything else that could mess with us? Yeah, there's a lot that could mess with us, but we'll just have to make do. We're just gonna have to hope for the best. All right. Well, oh man. You know what? I thought this guy would be epic for taming. I hope it's not gonna be super hard to see everything. No. Come here. Come here, come here. Okay, I'm, I may, oh, oh, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? B, what the crap, B? Dude. All right, um, let, let's, let, oh God. All right, it's hitting, oh. How, I don't know how I'm not dead, but hey, we got that guy. Dude, maybe the B isn't like all that amazing. Holy crap. It's gonna wreck our B. 
All right. Um, B, how are you doing? Okay, the B's doing fine. Just let him sit there. Let me make sure that B is on passive. Oh, uh, all right. All right. It's doing fine. Torpor is arising. All right. Power down. All right. That's problems. I don't know how it did that. That is serious problems. Come on, little B. I think we just answered a question if this guy's going to be like a crazy boss or I don't know how that happened. All right. You know, like, who cares about rider protection if you get dismounted? That is brutal. You little bee. It, it definitely packs a wall up, but oh my lord. All right. Doing good. And come on, little bee. All right. So we tried them for taming. Definitely, definitely not uh, what we want to be using for taming. Let's hurry up with this. And boom, don't get hurt, don't get hurt, and yeah, now is it possible that was a fluke? I don't know, I do not know, but you know, the griffin might be our, our best answer. I haven't had anything like that come like anywhere close to that, I almost feel like I want to simulate that again. Just to see, is that something that always happens? Imagine if we like did the next tier of bosses and we went in for it and all of a sudden, boom, we got dismounted. That would be awful. That would be awful. It also tells me that um, bad things could happen in this B if we do test that. Maybe we should try and see if we can find another and see if it's possible to breed them. Dude, look, another cave. What is this? Weird. Look at, oh, I know this. I know this place. I I can never find it, though, when I'm looking for it. I'm going to throw a teleporter down. All right, just because I want to come back to this place at some point. Boom. All right. Let's go, B. Let's go. Um, Let's go head back to the base. Let's start our RG's breeding, and let's see. There's usually a lot of bees on the server. Let's see if we can find another. Wow. Look at the size difference between these two. This is a normal Celestial RG versus the Pygmy one. That is so cool. I really do like the Pygmy ones. All right, let's go ahead and say behavior enable mating and behavior enable mating. So the Pygmy one was the female and look at it go. Not bad. How are we doing stat wise between them? 179, 152. All right. So the pygmy one's actually quite a bit better. Let's see. Health wise, two of. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a world of difference. But I think they'll be able to make some epic babies together. So we'll let that continue to go. Let's go ahead and hope that we can do an orb. All right. Orb. Boom. And this, we want to try and find a bee to breed with. Yes, a bee buddy. A bee buddy. So what do we got? We have female. All right. So ideally, we want to try and find a male. So I'm going to continue to go out on this guy again. I want to see if we can get a, a, a tame with it. I don't know. Is this guy just a glass cannon? I was really hoping that it would be super useful, but I just do not know. Oh, it definitely wrecks all the face, though. I, I have to say, it does mega damage. So anyway, let me hunt down some more bees. Ooh, check it out, guys. We have a Celestial Rock Golem. Let's see what level it is. Ew, only a level 80. All right. Um, right. I'm kind of curious. This guy might have a similar type of move. I want to see... We might die doing this, but I want to see what happens if we get hit by it. All right, let's uh, let's get it aggroed. Come on, guys. I got I got to see if we get dismounted. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, do they always spawn with a little rock golem next to them? All right, what's going to happen? Come on. All right, do your big move, bro. Do your rock throw. Come on, cocoon me. I'm, I'm thinking that's what it is when you get cocooned. 
Oh, it looked like he was starting to do it. We can take the damage fine. All right, so far so good. And who got powered down? Come on, you dumb golem. All right, I know if he's going to do it. I do not know. I do wish this bee had like another move, like a flame. All right, whatever, guys, whatever. Let's just get him. Wrecked! Oh, it is so glorious. You know, I wonder what this golem gives. What do you give, bro? What do you give? Um, I think to harvest them, we'd probably need something such as you. Or, or another golem would be good. Anyway, let's see what we get. All right, normal golem stuff. Crap. Why don't they give, like, celestial stuff? Do not know. Do not know. All right. Um, I've been hunting out for another bee, and I'll be honest with you. I cannot find one. Ha, but, 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 but. Let's just teleport you back. I did come across. Actually, can I get in there? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I did come across something over in the Redwoods that is a chaos. So maybe we could hunt that down instead. Um, the highest level B I could find was like a level 200, which is a definite no-go. So let's uh, see. Coming back in. All right, Mr. B. Let's go check this out. Let's make a chaos orb. Okay, so another one, please. And hopefully we have enough. These are not cheap. They are not cheap at all. And throw all that in there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, and you know what? Just in case I die or something silly happens, let's throw our spear orb back in there. And we'll take the rest. All right, Mr. B, let's go. Let's see if we can hunt down another bee. What do you have to say about that? I think it's been cool. It's another creature I've never seen before. So let's go uh, hunt them down. Ooh, guys, there's actually two really good things here. We've got right over there, there's the giant chaos bee. And then over here, we have a celestial dire bear, which is also shiny. Um, I think we still have enough. Yeah, we still have enough kibble. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Let's see if we can get them both. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the bear first just because the bear, I, the bee I know will survive. Like the bear is not going to kill the bee. All right, let's back up. Let's drag him away. Yep, right over here. Because I have no idea. That bee very likely would demolish this bear if we tried to tame that one first. All right, come on, buddy. 9.8 million torpor. So pretty. It almost looks like a fabled bear. All right, just do your thing. I think that's so cute. A bee and a bear. They definitely go together. All right. Moving up. Almost there. You can do it, bro. What is this thing? Otter. All right. And get ready for it. What is this? Calamimus. All right. Not a problem. And down. Beautiful. Be beautiful. All right, bear. So what would it say? Five? Bada boom. Our very first bear of the season. Oh, that is a pretty one too. You're a super pretty bear. And nice. Good job. Oh, that ferocious face. All right, next up. Next up. Let's go see if we can get this chaos bee. I'm not too scared of it. Like the spirits are way scarier. But we only have, what, three? No, four chances. All right, come on. Oh, it's a pretty one. It's a shiny one. 
It's a possibility it's going to be a trick-or-treat one. So, just keep that in mind. We don't know what type of shiny it is. Alright. I think we have pretty good odds, though. Come on, buddy. You go down. Man, 11.4 mil. I think it wasn't that one that we tamed had like 21 million or something. That is such a high amount of torpor. All right, it's a pretty safe lake. I don't see any piranhas, so that's good. And it's already lost aggro. Come on, buddy, bro. And I have the chaos orb, right? I picked it up. Thank goodness. And it's definitely going to sink to the bottom, I think. All right. It's sinking down. Let's go plop in. And dude, what if all the fish went for it? And all right, back off. We got it. Nice. And let me out. Whoa. Yep. You instantly get thrown off in the water. All right. Let's go. Scoop. Awesome. All right. I got a bunch of saddles to make and let's check on how our breeding's going. But holy crap. What an epic day this has turned out to be. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How are we going to get back up here before the mantis gets us? Go, go, go. Dude, getting tripped up on rocks and stuff. All right. And oh. Oh, B! B! B, let me save you! Oh, crap. B, get over here! Holy crap! Let me on. All right, let's just blow them all up. Boom! Wow. Two million on that? We're still not even close to being maxed out. We have so much more to go. Whoa. Apparently, there's a demonic in there, too, that I never noticed. What the crap? That is epic, guys. Absolutely epic. And we're still only at 197. These guys take a while to level up, though. I don't know what it is about them. But anyway, I'll meet you back at the base. Man, these two new dames look so good. I love this dire bear. It really does look like a fabled. I can't get over it. Totally awesome looking. And then the Chaos B. I don't know. Yeah, uh, You could definitely argue that it's the better looking of the two. It really, really looks neat. You know what? Let's go out on the B first. I, I got to find out. I got to find out. Is this going to be a killer? All right. So we, of course, probably got the same. Just two moves. A bite. Oh, dude. And it shoots in a really good straight line, too. Oh, wow. That could be uh, some serious power. Um, Let's go ahead and... Let's do a little bit of this. Let's find out what it hits for first, too, before we uh, put levels in. Oh, that's right, because it's a chaos. It's going to kill things before we even get up to it. All right, so nothing major. 76,000. I mean, that's pretty good. Don't get me wrong, but, you know. It's not like a god creature, so to speak. But that isn't its god-type move. Let's go ahead on this guy. Can I aim? Oh! That is so good. The aim is absolutely amazing. Oh, man. We, we got to try this out on some bigger creatures. Whoa. What is this? Is that a ghost mantis? What the crap? Oh, it di It died. Can, can I get it? Oh, I've never seen that before. Like, ever. It's probably a costume. Ghost Mantis. That is epic. That is so epic. You know, we got to get a Mantis, too. It's possible that could be uh, better for us for harvesting. I still use the Anklo, like, daily. I just do it all off camera. But that is super sick. All right. Um, Let me go hunt down some bosses. Like, we've got to see... If this guy can take on Origins and Primals, like absolute must, but it is just so glorious looking and so much easier to see too. Ah, oh, I love the wings. 
Everything about it, it is just a phenomenal chaos. All right, anyway, let me keep on, uh, let me hunt down a boss. All right, we got an artifacto, the great. We definitely need to slam this guy, but just want to share with you one, two, three, four, five, max attack. And this guy, uh, it leveled up a lot faster. I don't know, like if it's just luck, but it seemed like it went so much faster than the other B. Anyway, let's go ahead, get our health back. And where'd you go, Artifacto? I need them artifacts. All right, let's get a nice direct hit. Boom! Dude, it just smashed them. Look at that. Oh, so much. Um, I Did I get... No, I didn't get the artifacts, though. Crap. All right, so there should be a bag. I've noticed this a couple of times with the B. Not actually picking stuff up. All right. Oh, this is going to be a tough one to get to. Come on, bag. Don't do this to me. All right. Come on. Come on. Can I reach it? Just reach it. Thank God. It's also all different types. Good. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to hold it. Um, Another thing going on over here. We have a Celestial RG. I want to do this uh, thing again. I want to see if it can dismount us. Come here, bro. Come on. You going to get mad at me? All right. All right. It's mad. It's mad. All right. Smash me. Oh! All right. Um, That is really bad. Oh, Oh, it's got an electrocute move. That's what that other move does. Oh, B, just kill the RG. Kill it. Oh, oh, yikes. All right, well, that's a thing. Anyway, we got a teleporter. I'll pull the B back. I think it did pretty good, but I still want to try it against an origin. All right, we are back. The B is just fine. Let's uh, let's try it against this origin now. We got an origin dire bear. Come here, bro. I want to try and get a real direct hit. And come on. Oh, look at the melt. All right, so it didn't do that much initially, but look at that melt. That is so crazy. It's doing... Oh, it didn't kill it, though. It ran out of the fire. Get the crap out of town. It is almost dead, though. What does my normal hits do? Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, it's not that much, but the chaos damage... Oh! Is just unreal. All right, yeah, as long as you can get them to stay in your puddle... It is a uh, pretty insane serious. All right. Um, I want to finish leveling up the spirit bee now. I got to see. We already saw the spirit bee can annihilate an origin, but I want to see when it's maxed out. How perfect. I went ahead into the bug cave and uh, yeah, by the time I got to this honey room, I am maxed out. So let's do it together. One, two, three, four. Five, and I think like I've never had any stamina issues, anything else issues. Let's just go all into that health. Beautiful. Is that 23 mil? My, I mean, this thing is crazy powerful. And you know that move the RG has that electrifies, that might be kind of unique. I don't, I'm, I'm trying to think, to be honest, I need to know the RG had that. I didn't know what that move did. But yeah, it does electrification. You'd think that, uh, a, you know, a chaos or a spirit would be immune to that. But, you know, what you going to do? Anyway, what we got in here? All right. Ready? Ready? And. Boom. Wow. Numbers wise, I got to say it's pretty close between the chaos and the spirit. But. The spear move just, the area of effect is so, so much larger. Like, it really just does not compare. All right, come on. Yeah, and it hits, they're pretty comparable. They are pretty comparable indeed. 
Let's real quick just go harvest this guy. Oh yeah, need uh, need all that primal uh, shenanigans. Do I still have the theory on me? Spitfire, yes. And let's go. Boom, beautiful. So much goodness. I love this theory. In all honesty, it has been probably the most game changing mount. Like being able to, you know, get as much resources as we want to make all these crazy expensive saddles. I, I don't know if I'd be able to do it without a theory, but anyway, very cool. Um, Next up, oh, I said I wanted to do an origin. I wanted to snag that though. Let me see if I can do something real quick. Let's pull over the dire bear. All right, and dire bear. And maybe we can get some of this. Let's see, RG Basher. Did I put a thing on him? Oh, crap. We might not have a thing on him. Dang it! Am I just blind? Oh, well. I was going to say, let's pull the dire bear over to get that goodness, but not seeing it. All right. I don't know why. I must have forgot to put a uh, teleporter on him. All right. Let's, uh, let's head on out. And there is an origin right on the outside of this cave. So let's hope that we can make our way out. What is this? Ooh. Hello. Boom! So glorious. You know, I, I, I really should harvest this guy too. Come on. Let's go. All right, we good? All right, quickly, bro. Quickly. Thrasher! Do your thing once again. And nice. Raw, drop, and boom. All right, awesome. Come on, Thrasher. All right, can we make it out of this cave? I think it's just, yep, this is it. Right through here. Right through here. We're already maxed out, so no point in trying to get more levels. Nice. All right, right up here to the left, I saw an origin. So let's go see if we can find him again and smash him. There he is, there he is. And another dire bear, perfect for testing purposes. All right, come here, buddy. Come here. And right on him. Oh, when it was a direct hit, it got four million. Good God. Look at how far that reaches. Yeah, I mean, hands down. I think if it was in the puddle, our other bee was doing more. But, I mean, come on now. Like, that was insane. That was so incredibly good. All right. I love this bee. I, I really do think it, it, it could be a bosser. I definitely do. All right. Um, right. Let's go try out that dire bear now. All right, we are back. Here's our bear, and I definitely forgot to put a teleporter on. So I went ahead and did that, and this bear does not have a jump. Good to know. It does break rocks and everything. Um, I'm going to assume it's going to be easier to transverse somewhere like Asgard. So let's go over there. Yeah, so pretty. All right, so what is the deal with this bear? All right, awesome. It should be able to harvest still. Let's uh, let's have a look, see. Yep, so it can get berries. It gets fiber, so that's super nice. Ooh, this is what I'm talking about. Hits harder than the bees did. It's kind of annoying. It keeps stopping with the left click. All right, what does the right click do? Ooh, nice flame. The C goes on its hides. Whoa, that's crazy. And that's definitely a cocooning thing. So that should force any flyers to land. And it looks like there's no C. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Now bears are omnivores, so it should eat both berries and... Oh, it's so annoying how it does that. It's got the, uh, what would normally be the right click. It gets... Yeah, that's super annoying. 
so it stops you dead. I guess it doesn't matter that much, but I would feel like this bear would be a prime candidate for having that same type of ability as the Ferox. It's kind of a shame it doesn't. All right, we got an origin already. Uh, we're definitely not up to uh, origin standards. But I don't know. It could be interesting. It is a flyer. It'd be kind of fun to watch this guy force him to land. All right, let's start to pump in. So still not that many levels. Definitely nowhere near enough to do an origin, at least in a timely fashion. Um, Why don't we also do this... And let's give it some health stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right, fair enough. All right. Let's see if we can get this guy. I want to get him to land. Let's also power up. All right, so it gives us rider protection. All right, all right. It's right there. Let's... Right when it almost gets to us now. Smashed, and as you can see, it is in fact landed. Dude, it's actually doing decent damage. Holy cow, that is actually not bad. Did this bear get redone? Because I don't remember it being this good. You know, like it's still no demonic, but we don't have that many levels into him and he's already doing this good. And we can keep this guy landed. I don't remember that initial like doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know if that actually does anything either, or if that's just a visual thing. Alright, come on. Oh, that is so cool. Alright, let's get him aimed back uphill. And while we are cocooned, it doesn't really feel like what's making us go slower. Wow. This is going to be epic. We're going to take out a 580 origin. And our stamina has been fine, too. Yeah, I, this, this guy had to have got redone. This is amazing. All right, come on. Just imagine if we were maxed out. Wow. Yeah, it really seems like you need something like this. The, the damage over time. To be a decent celestial and to really take out those origins all right and i'm able to do the move again before we run up good god this is epic all right this should be it and got him oh i am so pleased with this bear I had no idea what I was missing. You're epic, dude. Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. All right. What did that give us for levels? Very nice. Let me get them pumped in. All right. We are there. That's right. Add max attack in one, two, three, four, five. And all the rest. I'm going to say this guy is really good stamina to boot. I never have had to worry about it. Like, it feels like it's a demonic. It is absolutely remarkable. And I I'm easily could say this guy is among the best of the Celestials. I, I never would have thought. I never would have thought, at least for bossing. You know, it, it's got its its hiccups, Um, you know, but it transverses the land really well it actually breaks rocks that it runs by so much better than most other things right there wasn't so hot but there as you could see it did fine didn't lose any of its movement speed um my biggest complaint is just that they combine the left and right click into a single move so you end up sometimes doing that big old bear paw and stopping you dead in your tracks which is a huge downfall to the dire bear. In all honesty, I don't know why the um why it was done. I don't know why they didn't keep left and right click and just use X and C for the fire and the big move. But anyway, beyond that, let's see about getting an origin now that we're at max level. Come on. I don't know if it's gonna reach that high. 
Wow, look at that. We we grounded them. Doing so much more damage than we did last time. Almost double. Like, you got to remember, this that this is an RG. The RG has always took us a little while. It is nutty. Like, I think this would be a decent um guy for just about anything. As far as Celestials go, let's see if we get really close when we do this move. Does it do even more? <laughs> He's like, get me out of here! Come on, buddy. It is just melting them. And this is a 600 one, too. Good God. Come on. And again and again. Melted. Yeah, that's not bad. That is for a Celestial. That's about as good as it gets. So, and then being on top of being able to do all that, being fast, being a gather. See right there. This is what I'm talking about. It kind of ruins the uh, the flow of the Dire Bear. I don't know. But in any case, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely top tier. That is without dispute. Demonic Ovis. Let's just smash this guy real quick. Boom! Instantly killed. Come on, buddy. Give me your hide. All right. Anyway, I think we did pretty good today, guys. Holy crap, we got our second RG. Oh, we forgot to hatch out all the eggs. We're going to have to do that next time, I think. Um, we've got the Terrorbird eggs and the RG eggs. So maybe we can kick things off with that. Amazing, amazing Dire Bear. So incredibly cool. And the Chaos B. Really, really coming together. Anyway, guys, let's get back to the base. Let me go through those comments all right guys i just finished going through the comments and yes it is now that time that's right time to name the dinos for those of you that do not know at the end of every single episode i go through the comments of the previous episode and i pick out all the most awesome name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button. And yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have got, yeah, it's a whole bunch of stuff. We got our new RG. It is going to be named... Archangel. Love it. Our new Terror Bird. Fire Feathers. Awesome. And Buzz Lightyear. I love it. It is so perfect. Great names today, guys. Super great names. For next episode, we need to come up with a name for our new Chaos Bee, for our new Celestial Dire Bear, and our new RG. Plus, we're going to have loads. Let's just look. Let's look. How many eggs do we got? Oh, good Lord. Those are the Terror Bird eggs. Those are the RG eggs. Yeah, I think we're going to get some good ones. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as you always do. Please remember to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Anywho, see you tomorrow, and as always, peace out.